What tastes expensive but actually isn't? Much on how food is perceived depends on how you serve it. Taste is important, but not for more than let's say 50%. Here's a cheap trick recipe with great results guaranteed. Call it, pea puree pasta. The mere fact it's bright green gives it a fancy and expensive looking aspect. Half open the can of peas and push the lid down. Drain the peas but make sure to save the liquid in a cup. You may now remove the lid completely. Be careful, the lid tends to be sharp and may cause nasty cuts. When cooking with kids, make sure an adult is present and let him or her perform the removal of the lid. It is by far the most complicated step in the procedure. Add the milk or cream, pepper and salt. Then gently blend, working top down. Apply a steady yet light pressure. Switch the blades of when lifting the blender. Not only is this safer, it will prevent you from cleaning green spurts from all over the kitchen. Add 3 quarters of the smooth cream to your spaghetti and stir. You may add some of the liquid you set apart it it results too dry. Serve it as follows, twirl a meat fork in the spaghetti and keep spinning till you have the right portion. Carefully transfer the pasta on a plate. Then add the remaining pea cream on top. Just for contrast add fine strips of orange zest. Icelandic caviar from Kaplan qualifies. Tiny eggs bursting with the salty mystery of the briny deep. Excellent just on a low salt wheat thin with a schmear of cream cheese and also excellent as a garnish for an oyster on the half shell. I suggest shigokus, and the term is Japanese for, ultimate, which they are. Also wonderful mixed with a full fat sour cream as a dip for, what else, Lay's potato chips with a chilled glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Where I buy this caviar it's too. 99 per small jar and that little vessel goes a long way. I like to occasionally just take a small bone spoon and enjoy a single heaping spoonful. Sends my spirits soaring. Any French pastry. Croissants are really just the refined older brother of biscuits, being butter laminated into a wheat flour based dough. The biggest difference in layers is because croissants are rolled, while biscuits are pressed. Another is macarons, almond flour-based cookies with a flavored filling. Most of the desert is air, and the only reason to spend so much time making them is for the appearance. The taste is the same no matter how they look, but they fetch a high price. The pictures below are both macaroons, but the bottom ones were not made for the appearance. The bottom is from YouTuber Adam Ragusia, 